Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Prophet Stephen Larry Lotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. You shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. story of love. Love our Lord Jesus Christ towards humanity who came to die on the cross of Calvary for us not to die the second time. That is the reason why we are here again today to dispel the message of, of kindness of God towards men. I want to say good morning to everyone in the morning, good afternoon to those in the afternoon, so in the evening, good evening, wherever you are watching around the world today, shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Mm. This season of celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ will celebrate you. Amen. By the power and the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of your life, the glory of your family, the glory of everything about you will shine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. as the news of our Lord Jesus Christ travel around, the news of the witches of goodness of God for you will travel far. Amen. People will hear about you in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Everything that is not working well around you, around your home, the Lord will minister to them. They will start to work well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The gain for these celebrities, you know, we have around us now will be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. God will say celebrate you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say God will celebrate you. Amen. You become a celebrity too Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The witches of God for your life will manifest Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. We, you will know God more, we know God more Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. This is International Christian Association as it is on the screen. To so many of you have been part of this program. You do tell people it is not a church program. Rather, it is a program that God has given to us to go and talk about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. And that, yes, and this message is not about Christianity, it's not about, you know, Muslim, it's not about those who doesn't go to church, who doesn't go to the Muslim, uh, the, 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 the pagans. But it's a message that we need to, uh, to bring on our way at this time. So let us know the requirement of God for us to enter into the kingdom of God. However, what does he want us to do? What we need to know about walking towards the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is not about food and drink. It's not about celebration. It's not about Easter time. It's not about Christmas time alone. It's not about that harvest time in your church. It's not about those, you know, Things around you that you enjoy. It's not about physics. It's not about, you know, the celebration of galas. It's about what you need to do, what I need to do to achieve the kingdom of God, to walk towards the kingdom of God. That is the reason why we have come. And it shall be well with you as you listen in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know the, 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 the International Christian Association, it's an association of those that believe in the word of God, association of those that believe in the word of God. And like I said, it's just a fellowship where you come and talk and digest the word of God, the undiluted word of God. What does God want for mankind? Hallelujah. If you want to know how far we have gone, visit YouTube, search for Professor Loti. You find us there, almost everything. 
Now we've been talking about the kingdom. There's no other message that the kingdom of God that will come. How are you walking towards the kingdom of God? How am I walking towards the kingdom of God that every one of us believe that will come? Every religion is, everyone that believes that there is God, believe that one day when you die here, you will go to the other world. For you to, you know, and we know that the kingdom of God and hellfire, they walk side by side. What are you doing? What am I doing? That I will end up in the kingdom of God, that I will not end up in the fire. This, what we are seeing at this time, will prove to us who we enter into the kingdom of God. While we are in the studio now, we are on Facebook. Search for Prophet Olotu, you get everything there. And you can share with somebody around you, both near and far. And this is a message that is very scarce at this time. The message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ is very scarce. What we need to do is very scarce in our society now. In our churches where we worship God, in the mosque where you are worshiping God, in that your, you know, that your own God that you are using to represent the Almighty God. Maybe by the time you go through what we are hearing, you know that you are on the right path to the kingdom of God or not, which is going to be the last result of every human being here on earth. We shall all die one day and go to the other side. Where judgment will gather all of us together again to give us you know, the result of our activities here or not that day. If you have somebody in Nigeria, Africa, you want him to be part of us, you know, tell him to join us on Legend Platform TV on subscription, they will be able to go along with us. Why don't you beckon to somebody very close and far, you know, you know, from you, you know, to join us on Faith World TV, Channel 588, Sky 588. That person will be able to do along with us. Tell him to come or how to bring Israel Bible together so that we can enter into the word of God together. God wants us to read the word of God that we will understand what he's saying in his word. Hallelujah. Amen. And it shall be well with us all in Jesus' name Amen. as we come again to listen to what God is having for us at this particular time that we are celebrating. The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, even there are so many questions and answers so, you know, out there about Christmas. Some said, who knows the time Jesus Christ was born? Who knows where he was? They were just asking, but what we are saying that we are celebrating the fact that Jesus came to the world. And what does he want us to know? And the Lord will help us as we go along, you know, with what God is having for us again today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And my name is Professor Willard Lutu. And the man of God will be coming together. We are here again today. Together. By the grace of God. Amen. No other person than evangelist. Raphael. God bless you, sir. Amen. Merry Christmas Amen. in advance. Two, advance, three, four days now. Advance, and New Year in advance. Hallelujah. Amen. And our talking will be roasted. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, our celebrations will not be vain. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just before we quickly go into what God is having for us today, can I ask the man of God to pray for us in a minute? About in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. We have been well. The message of today into your hand. Yes, Lord. Lead us and right to Lord. Amen. Make the need of your people. Amen. Deliver people from the ignorance and foolishness. Amen. Bring us to the understanding of you. Amen. To follow you Amen. as you want us to be. Amen. Till Jesus Christ come. Amen. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody touch me, somebody touch me, somebody touch my soul. When I was praying, praying to my father, somebody touch my soul. Somebody touch me. 
Somebody touch me. Somebody touch my soul. When I was praying, pray to my father. Somebody touch my soul. It must be Jesus. It must be Jesus. It must be Jesus Christ. When I was praying, praying to my Father, somebody touched my soul. When you are touched, you will know that there is life in Jesus Christ. When Jesus touched you, you will recognize that truly there is life internal in Jesus Christ. Whoever Jesus Christ come across with, whoever come across with Jesus Christ, we know that there is different between life and death that we are talking about at this time. Jesus came to touch the world and life came into the world. But unfortunately, Men were deleting the life that Jesus came to give unto us. There's a son that said, He came from heaven to earth to show my way from the earth to the cross. My death to me from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I live the name on he came to give way to us, to teach us, to let us know what heaven wants, what God wanted in heaven. And he left. Fortunately, unfortunately, everything Jesus Christ said will happen to this world. This is a thing we are seeing around us today. And what is it that he wants us to go and talk to his people? After heaven, look at what is happening to us. He cannot keep quiet. That is why he's bringing messages, you know, to us at this time. The school of life, we be talking about the life God gave to us in the Garden of Eden that our forefather, our foremother, lost the devil. But by the grace we receive from Jesus Christ, God looked down from heaven and gave it back to us through Jesus Christ. And you know, for a while we'll be talking about the heirs of Abraham. How God looked out from heaven and now realized that, ah, there are, uh, I saw another one, I was sharing with one of the, the argument in the corridors of the heirs of Abraham. Who are these people? Christian and Muslim. They believe that Abraham is their father. They hear from Abraham. And they both believe that, yes, God of Abraham is our, is, our, is our God together. They believe that as well, God. So, what well, I'm talking about, uh, almost all the news you have in the Quran is what you have in the Bible. You, have in, you know, hallelujah. Amen. But God said that is not what He wanted. There are too much of argument and noise on their corridors. Why they leave what He expected from us? behind everything he gave us and all that for us we, we we've deleted them rather we make noise we preach noise hallelujah what he wants us to preach cannot be found among us few people you know this year god said 98 percent were hypocrites before him two percent were the people that god saw 90 percent you'll be talking about it hallelujah Amen. the years of abraham so go and talk to them there are too much of noise too much of noise. The call of apostles, a bishop, a imam, there will be too much of noises. The worshippers, because they leave what God wanted behind. And again, we'll be talking about why the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best way. Ah, why the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best way. We'll be talking about it because he came to teach us the way, the right way. I see the same argument today. The right way that we know that Jesus brought, which was ascertained about when he was here with those that 
preaching the word of God. He said, yes, you are truly talking about the word of God. But what does he want us to do to them before he now sealed it up with his blood on the cross of Calvary? You know, we've talked, we'll be talking about all these things. Why the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best way. You cannot compare Jesus Christ with any other, you know, leaders of the world. We are not talking about religion now. I am not a religionist. I am a servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are here to speak about God to humanity, to a Christian, to a Muslim, to non-believer. If you are atheist, if you are, well, it doesn't matter what you worship. We are talking about what God really wanted from you that is hearing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's the message we are bringing. What are we talking about today? We started it about it two weeks ago. Do not be selfish. Do not be selfish. Selflessness. May God to give Jesus Christ to us. To those who know that Jesus Christ was the only son from heaven that God released for us to go and teach us and die for us. You know, it's because God was not selfish. And Jesus was not selfish. He carried out the assignment of his, his father accordingly. Do not be selfish. Are you selfish today as we are talking? What yourself? What are you doing? What am I doing? How are you doing it? Are you doing it for yourself or for God in heaven? Hallelujah. Do not be selfish. We started it about two weeks ago. That was why just like came again. That was the reason why we are worshiping his coming at this time. That is why we say Christmas is on the way. Christmas mood is on the way. You know, we are we are buying, selling, selling, you know, buy ah, selling, oh my God. In fact, buy, 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 buy. Well, I went out there, so many people I said, Why my God, my God, mm -hmm. and there's no money. See, people are the way they are buying, buy, buy. Mm -hmm. And we are buying, buying to celebrate. We are asked what God wanted from human beings is being, you know, diluted in our communities, in our attitude. So what does he say to write the book of Isaiah, sir? Mm -hmm. Chapter 9, let's see what verse 6 to 7 says. About this Jesus Christ that was not selfish. For unto us, For unto us a child is born. A child is born. Unto us. When Isaiah was talking about him, Jesus has not come. He said, A child is born. He didn't say we'll be born. A child is born. He's already born. Give it to us. Unto us, a son is given. Unto us, a son is given. And the government will be upon And the government shall be on the shoulder. And his name will be called. And his name will be called. Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Of the increases of, of, of his government. You know, is he, you know, he, he, is, he, is, he, is, he, is somebody who has so many offices on his shoulder. As you have so many offices too that you cover for the community where you are. He has so many offices they covered for the world that we are in. If you want to see him as wonderful God, you see him. If you want to see him as a father in heaven, you see him. I am not saying now here that you know some people they argue that Jesus Christ is not God, God. And we are coming to that later, but we are saying that you see him in his father as wonderful, as father in heaven as prince of peace, as counselor, see God, see Jesus Christ in that realm. What does this say for that, sir? Upon the throne of the David, upon the throne of David, and over his kingdom, over his kingdom, to order it, to order it, and establish it, and establish it, with judgment and justice, with judgment and justice, from that time forward, from that time forward, even forever, even forever, the seed of the Lord of hosts, we perform this. The seal of God of hosts will perform all these things. That is coming will bring about judgment, equity. Don't be selfish. Ah, when he came here, he, he made us to know that there will be judgment. It's why it's why it's why a judge. Don't pervert that judgment. If you know you have the Lord, make sure everything go well with the mind of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Judgment when you are when you are not selfish, 
you will know how to make things work in the community of the people of God. Because judgment will come one day. That is what it is. So that we don't allow celebrations now to take us away from what God really wanted from us. He came with a good tiding to teach us what heaven wants. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1 to 10, sir. Ecclesiastes chapter a 7. A good name is better than precious old unclaims. A good name is better than precious, precious ointment. ultimate. A good name is better than all those ultimate we carry about. Good name is better than all those, you know, uh, 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 trademarks that we want to have today, trademark, you want you to, to be known. Good name is better. Regardless of how you get that name, doesn't matter to so many people now. I just need trademark. I want to be known. I want to be billionaire. A millionaire in pounds and dollars. Regardless of how you gather that money together. Is that something for that, sir? And the day of death are the day of death than the day of war's birth. It's more than the day of giving birth. Your day of death should be more important than the day they, they, they gave birth unto you. Your last day should be more precious to you than the day you are celebrating. I mean, you are celebrating Christmas now. Hallelujah. Amen. The day of death, after you die, after I will die, what will be the end of, of my life should be matter to every one of us. Better to go to the house of money. Better is better to go to the house of money, where they were money. It is better to go and see how people are crying for somebody you saw yesterday, a friend you saw yesterday, husband you saw yesterday, the wife you saw yesterday, that's your friend you had together yesterday, that president you saw yesterday, that, that one that promised you that good thing yesterday. It is better for you to go and see how they cry about him. You know how, how many things he had, she had. She worked for, he worked for. How he can no more live in that mansion? How he can no, no more live in that two beds together? <laughs> How he cannot ride those, you know, those, those vehicles together? You cannot sit on two seats together. You had that jet. How you cannot, you know, fly in that jet anymore? Should be the equation of our time that we are finding ourselves now. Than to go to the house of feasting. Than to go to the house of feasting. As we are feasting ourselves now, you know you stole that money that does not belong to you to buy what you are going to distribute to people now. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's also your money. You, you scam people. You ask people. You ask them to celebrate. And what will be the end of that celebration? If you die tomorrow, what does he say for that, sir? Mm. Don't be selfish. For the because selfishness will make you to go and see somebody what belongs to somebody for yourself. For that is the end of all men. That will be the end of all men. And the living will take it to heart. And the living will take it to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. Living will take it to heart. You need to see what will what will come to your heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. Than laughter. Maybe the sorrow will pray against sorrow. No, I don't want to be sorrowful. It says, the Bible says, it is even better to be sorrowful than to be laughing. Don't laugh away your tomorrow in God. <clears throat> don't laugh away the end of your life. Don't laugh away the kingdom <laughs> that will come your way one day, that will come my way one day. Don't ignore it. That is what he's saying. Do not ignore it. When you mourn, you'll be thinking about, ah, will it be my turn tomorrow? That is what he's saying. When you are mourning, you'll be remembering yourself. Will it be my turn tomorrow? But when you are laughing, you laugh away as if it's not come to my turn anymore. Maybe it's for that person again alone. That is what we need at this time. What does he say, sir? For by his side countenance. For the side countenance. The heart is made better. The heart is made better. That countenance. Ah, when you think deep. 
there maybe life will be changed. Hallelujah. Amen. That tomorrow you might not be anymore. I might not be anymore. You might celebrate. I, 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 it's not against it. We will hear so many people that will die after the Christmas. Yes. Eh? The second day to the Christmas. Oh, no, the Christmas. Yeah. Even at the Christmas day. Think about what will become of your tomorrow after feasting, after celebration, after stealing, after doing that we love, you love most against the will of God. That is the message of this time. Don't be selfish. A, a selfish person will always want to gain everything to himself. What does this say, sir? For the heart is made better. The heart is made, yes. The heart of the wise is in the house of morrow. The the heart of a wise person is in the house of money. But the heart of fool is in the house of the heart of the fool yeah, yeah. is in the heart of the, you know feasting. Where enjoyment is ruling, where they play music. I'm not saying you must not enjoy life, but don't let life take you away from the will of God that will come one day. After celebration, after birthday, there will be money in one day. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. It is better to rebuke. It's better to hear. To hear the rebuke of the wise. The rebuke of the wise. It is better for you to listen to the rebuke of somebody. As God is rebuking us now, it is better you listen to a chastisement of somebody that is no better than you. Than for a man to hear the song of fools. Than a, a man, a woman, sister, brother, to listen to the song of a fool person, foolish person, that has nothing to trace to the righteousness of God. Somebody who, who doesn't who doesn't want to help you into the heart of the Lord, don't listen to them. They just want to destroy your life. They want to destroy your tomorrow. You don't want to listen to the elders. You don't want to hear whatever your father or your mother is saying to you. You'll be saying it. That is why we pray them and be careful for the last day. If you don't teach your children what they're supposed to do now, a day will come that God will ask you and I a question about how, how far the dude, you know, taught them what they need to know. For like the crackling of tongues under a pot. For the crackling of a tongue under the pot. Under the pot. The pot yes. Under the pot. So is the laughter of the fool. Is the laughter of the fool. They yes. just do something, you know, under it. They cover, they, they pretend as if they don't know what they are saying. They knew. But they just want to destroy. They are looking for someone they want to destroy. They are looking, and the Bible said they were clever in their kingdom. They are looking for someone they will destroy their tomorrow. They yes. are teaching them the wrong thing. Yes, yes it's also is vanity. This is vanity. It's vanity. Whatever they are saying that is not going to give you the kingdom of God is vanity. Everything about this world will end up in vanity. Hallelujah. Vanity of a vanity. Surely oppression destroys a wise man's reason. Surely oppression destroyed a wise man's reason. You want to oppress somebody. You want to show your ego over somebody, over the whole nation, as a president, over your family, your second family. You just want them to know that you are powerful, you are somebody. You want to oppress. He say. It's a foolishness. Don't be selfish. Don't think you are you are the most powerful among others. Don't ever think you are the most clever person among others. Don't think you are the only one that hears God, that knows God, <laughs> that can worship God. Don't think you are the only one. Your, it is my religion alone. But look at the word of God that he has given to man as a commandment. And do tell people here, God says, Thou shalt not serve another God when you are still serving another God outside the God Almighty that we know. You are foolish. You are selfish. Because you wouldn't want God, you know, love to be upon your family, your household, your life. Whatever you do, we affect your family. 
What does he say, sir? And he bribed the bases the heart. And he bases the heart. The bribe. They bribe the heart of people. When you want to show your ego, you bribe. You know, that is what we see around us today. You know what to do to bribe people, not monetary alone. Just to make sure you grab that thing, you have that thing. Don't be selfish. Selfishness will make somebody to, you know, to embalm everything around him to himself alone. The end, of, the end of a thing, the end of a thing is better than it is beginning. Is 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 better than the beginning. The end of your race. Please think about it. The end of your race here or not. Your tomorrow should be more better than the beginning. Hallelujah. The patience in, in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. When you are patient in the spirit, it is better than when you just bam bam bounce on everything. You have to be patient. When you are not patient. Then you, you you can't be bothered what happened to another person. If you are not a patient driver, you don't you will not be bothered what will happen to another car when you hit that car. When you are not careful about your wife, you do whatever you want to do against her. When you don't like your don't you can't be bothered about what happened to anyone around you. You just do something. You just want to do something. When you are not sensible enough, you want to destroy the world that God created. Don't forget that the world we are in is not your property, not my property. It's in the property of God. How will you see if somebody should destroy your property? You are destroying the property of God when you cannot be bothered about what happened in the world. Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry. Don't be hasten in your spirit to be angry. For anger rests in the bosom of a fool. Anger rests in the bosom of a fool. When you are a fool, you will allow your anger to destroy everything around you. You can't be bothered, you just destroy everything. Yeah, many people they divorce in their mind because they, they cannot be, you know, they cannot be quiet one day. They just want to show that they have power. You know, so and those who might ask you a question one day, you don't like that your marriage, you swear, you, you take an oath before the Lord, and you don't like it anymore. And the two of you cannot think to, together, husband and wife, to see God in action, to see God in the middle, you are in trouble one day. Do not say, do not say, why were the former days better than this? Why were the former days better than this? For you did not inquire wisely concerning this. Because you, you are not wisely inquire from, from the Lord about it mm -hmm. from the beginning. You just jump into so many things. Even when they were saying to you, you can't be bothered. And when you now find yourself in the midst of the pool mm -hmm. of that water, now you just want to jump out of it again. Mm -hmm. It might not work. We go one day. That is why we have all these troubles around us today. We have trouble unrest around the world today. Unrest from one pillar to the other. What are we talking about at this time? Do not be selfish. When you are selfish, you will leave the word of God aside for your own will to be manifested on a daily basis. That is why you see yourself doing, I see my father myself doing, if I'm, find myself doing what God will not, uh, you know, accept for me, will not take for me. That is why you see yourself doing, that is why you see many people doing whatever God will not like. I really, you know, they won't bother about it, but one day will ask questions from each other, each, each one of us. Because that day will be more bigger than every other person on this earth. So I want us to listen to the book of Luke, Luke chapter 2. Let's see what verse 6 to 14 says. We are talking about selfishness today. Do not be selfish. So it was that why they were there. Why they were there. The days were complete, completed for her to be delivered. When, when Joseph and Mary, you know, when they travel to Bethlehem, you know, for, uh, you know, uh, they were there for counting of, uh, of, 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 of names. So many so. people censored then, you know. So it's been a long time that I said so. When they went for censor, and when they got there, it, is, it was then, then that the time for Mary to deliver, you know, came, pressed on her. Then what happened thereafter? And she brought 
fourth our first born son and she brought forth our first born jesus mm -hmm. is that? and they wrapped him in sweden clothes i was wrapped you know as you rise you know wrap your baby today too jesus was wrapped then in the and laid clothes. him in the manga and, and, in, and they laid him in manger you know where they look after sheep, goats. You know, if you have been to one before, you know how smell. The environment is always be. That is where, you know, they deliver a glorious son of God from heaven. Because there was no room for them. Because, in the inn. because there was no room for them in the inn, in the hotel. Because at that, you know, at that particular time, many people come from suburb. You know, for that same sense or so, there were so many people there. And there was no room for them in the inn. Now, there were, in the same country, shepherds living out there were in some, the fields. There were some shepherds in the field. Keeping watch over their flock by night. They were keeping watching their flocks by night. And behold, and behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them. Angels stood before them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were greatly afraid. And they were greatly afraid. Then the angel of the Lord said to them, Look at if to lay if to lay somebody that is reading the word of God believes that this word of God is from God. That somebody who was given back to a manger. Was someone the angels from heaven came down to announce? There you must be a glorious person. The heaven we said an angel to go and you know announce the bad of that same person. Then what happened there after Then the angel said to them, the angel has said to them, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For behold, that is what he said to them. Jesus has been given to us. Don't be afraid. For behold, for behold, I bring you good tidings. I bring you a good tidings of great joy. Of great joy, which will be to all people. Which will be to all people. For there is born, there is a newborn baby. For you this day, for you these days in the city of David. Very soon be celebrating it again. A newborn baby, a savior, a savior. Who is Christ the Lord? The Christ the Lord. The angel was the one that said to them all that we are saying now whom have been to those who still don't believe that Jesus Christ came from above the angel <laughs> was the one talking about this characteristics about Jesus Christ the one that he says sir and this will be the sign and this will be the sign unto you you will find a baby you will find you will see a baby Wrapped in the sweat, wrapped in the sweat, you know, a different cloth lying in the manger. Lying in manger, you will. This will be the sign for you. When you go to the manger, you will see that must be a, no, the, a, 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 no place coming at then. You will see him wrapped in a very different cloth that will let you know. The person we are talking about. And suddenly, and suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host. The angel that and they said, said heavenly host, they were saying, Oh my God. And praise the God. And Maybe say, many of us don't know what we are celebrating. Celebrating the battle of Chokai. Go beyond food alone. Appreciate what God gave to man to celebrate. What does this say, sir? The heavenly host praising God and saying, Yes, glory to glory God, be to in God in the highest and on earth. Peace. Glory be to God. In the, maybe many people do understand what it means. Glory be to God in the highest. So God knows about this. Glory be to you for what you are doing over the earth. Glory be to <clears> you in the highest for what you are doing. We know the reason, we know what you are doing. Glory be to you. So you can share your son. So God, you are not selfish. So you can share your son with the sinful world. <laughs> ah, glory be to you. I know I have I'm not. Peace. Peace. Goodwill. Goodwill. Toward men. To all. Toward men. Hallelujah. Amen. The man that came to give, to teach peace. To give us what heaven wants. He's not selfish. He wasn't selfish at all. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And from that point. 
those shepherds, after the, excuse me, the, the angel did not disappear to, to, to heaven. And they said to themselves, ah, we, need to, we need to go and deliver this message. Because you are not selfish. Are you selfish today in the message of God towards your community? Are you selfish today to the message of God to your family? Father in the house, are you selfish? Do you love your own thing and never love the things of God towards your home? <laughs> you are a president. Are you selfish that you love your own home alone without others? Look at where you place, God place you. Are you selfish? Not to do the right thing, not to give the right thing, not to, oh my God, to hold everything back to yourself alone. Judgment will come one day after celebration. After having so many things to yourself, judgment will come one day. I do talk, I, I do talk about my country. I don't know the day God, uh, the day judgment of God will come to my country where I come from. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody, the money that belongs to the whole country, you kept it. And we get to rot it. Until the money rotted. And people were in, 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 in sovereign. In poverty. Was sovereign. And you think that will, not, that will be judgment? That will be judgment. One day there will be judgment. Because that person you occupied is for a reason. You as a husband is for a reason. Wife is for a reason. Don't just say this, it is my life. It is not your life. It is not my life. <laughs> that was I said. You never ask before you do something. You just jump into it. Don't be selfish because one day there will be question and answer after celebration here. It is better you go to a money place, several place. And see why people are crying. Why are they weeping? Are they going to weep for me the same way tomorrow? Then what will be the end of my life after this place? Must be our notification now. Do not be selfish. Why is the way of our Lord Jesus Christ the best? Is it because he came to teach us what God in heaven wanted. This is because I'm not, I'm not a Muslim, I am not a Christian, I am not this. Then you must not follow the path of God. It will ask you questions that day. It will tell you that when I came to this world, did I come to you as a Christian? I came to you as a son of God who brought a good tidings to my people. Some of us to us in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, Matthew, 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 John. Oh, John chapter 14, sorry. John 14, 10 to. Do you not believe that I am in the Father? Do you not believe that I am a Father? And the Father is in me. And my Father is in me. The words that I speak to you. The words that I speak to you. I do not speak on my own. I did not speak. I am not authority. selfish. I didn't bring my authority. I brought the authority of my Father to you. But the Father who dwells in me. But, but the Father you. that dwells in me is the one that is no that is knows everything. Is the one that set me. I have come to do this whole thing. Are you doing the will of God in that office where God placed you? Uh, you might think because you are you are a, you are a learner. You might think yeah, it's because they voted me in. You might be uh -uh. Believe me that I am in the Father. Believe in me that I am in the Father. And the Father in me. And the Father is in me. Oh. oh. Yes, be, believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Why will you not believe in the word that I have done? I am not selfish among you. I have done to demonstrate the power of God among you. Why will you not then believe it? Most assuredly I say to Most you. Most assuredly I say unto you people. He who believes in me. He that believes in the word of Jesus Christ. The works that I do. The word that I do. He will do also. He will do also. And greater works. He is only a selfless person that will say that. A selfish person will never want to ascend to his position. Talk less of. Ha 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 ha. Rapaging where he stopped his own journey. Nobody except somebody who dwells in the mind of God. We want you to be like him in that great position you are. That is why you find so many presidents who don't want to leave the seat until they die.
Because they wouldn't want a replacement. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, when you believe in what I'm saying to you, the word of God, we are going to see what is said to us very soon. Mm -hmm. He says, you will do more than I have done. You will enjoy God more than I have enjoyed him. God will love you more than he loved the man. He didn't say, God will love me alone. He said, God will love you too. He will love me too. Only if you can do what he taught us to do. But fortunately, our environment today, our comes today, what does he say? That? And do he will do also and greater and works than this he will do. Yes. Because I go to my father. Because I go to my father. And uh, whatever you ask in my name. Whatever you ask in my name. That I will do. That I that I will do. That the father may be glorified. That my the father son. might be glorified. This is that my say my father may be glorified. It did not so. in the son. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't guarantee everything for himself alone. He guaranteed it for God too. So if you ask anything in my name, if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. He said, Keep my commandment if you love me. Just keep the commandment. That is what he brought to us. Matthew chapter 38. What was this to us in, in, from verse 16 to 27? Quickly. Then, then the eleven disciples went away to Galilee. The eleven they went away to Galilee to the mountain. To the mountain where which he had shown to had, them, he revealed to them, which Jesus had appointed for them. He took them there before before he left. When they saw him, and when they now saw him, they worshipped him. They worshipped him, but some doubted. But some doubted, and Jesus came and spoke to them. And he came and speak to them, saying, "Say." All authority has been given I said it. I said it to you before, but you never believe. A selfish man will never come back again to let those that doesn't know to know better. He had left them. He knew that they did not yet understood. They didn't understand him. They didn't follow him. Many had gone back to fishing. Many say, if I don't see him to see the sign, I cannot believe. He, he said, okay, let me go out. Let me, let me go back to them again. A selfish person will never want to give to others. He said, son, sir, what does he say? Go, therefore. Go, therefore. And make disciples of many nations. And make disciples of many nations because I am giving power. Baptizing. And I am giving the same power to you. As I baptize you, go and baptize others. As you have made a leader, you know, oh my God, made others behind you leaders to teach them the right thing to do. Not embezzling money, not killing. So people, they will never marry, they wouldn't have married more than one wife. But because of that position where they find themselves, that is when their wife, the, the wife who started with them, doesn't know how to dress anymore. It's not fitting. Is not fitting that your husband that is then is not capable. <laughs> Think twice. That position God is giving to you, giving to me, is not to mess up the interests of God towards me. What does he say, sir? Baptizing them in Baptizing the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Father. And the son. And the son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Teach, teaching them. Teaching them. To observe all things. I came to teach you. Go and teach them how to observe all things. All things that I have commanded that I have you. Commanded you. And lo, <laughs> you Go you. and teach them. All I have taught to you, President, teach your followers all the will of God. Wherever you are. You are a prime minister. You are a senator. You are a pastor, you are a mom, you are an apostle, teach people, husband and wife, teach your children the ways of the Lord, the part of the Lord, because there will be question one day to whoever destroy the kingdom of God here or not. Hello. Hello. I am with you. I am with you. Always. Always. Even to the end of the age. Even to the end of the age. Amen. I am with you. I see what you do. Take on one day. James chapter 4. Let's see for verse 1. What does it say quickly? The Where verse. do wars and fight come from? Where do fight and all these troubles we have around? Where, where war? Where does it come from? Trouble comes from. Yes, sir. From among you. From among you. 
Do they not come from your desires? They came play? from our desires. For play that play. theft came from our desire. Okay. That money monkey came from our, that lust came from our desires. That war. That war. That war among your member came from us. You lost. And that, that confusion your family came from us. You have four children. Maybe one is for your wife in the house. The other two is for the man. You are the one causing trouble in your family. And that's your place of war. You are the one causing trouble. Because everything that God wants us to do doesn't come with evil. Trouble. What does he say, Father, sir? You lost. And you lost. lost. He not have. Yes. You murdered. You murdered. And covered. And covered. And cannot obtain. And you cannot but obtain. You fight and war. You fight and war. Yet. Do not that is have. what we see increasing in our community today. War. Troubles around us. <laughs> yes, sir. Yet you do not have because you do not ask. Yeah, you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive. Are you are and you do not receive? Because you ask a means. Because you are asking what God doesn't want for you. That cannot you cannot manage. That you may spend it on your pleasures. That is why we also people who want to become president. Even when they cannot rule their families. They are not capable of ruling their families. And they want to be president. They want to be leader at all costs. Because they don't ask from the Lord. Am I capable of doing this thing? What does he say for that? Adulterers. Adulterers. And adulteresses. Adulteresses. Do you not know that the friendship with the world is empty? Do you, do you not know that friendship with the world is, is an enmity with God? With God? Whoever therefore what does he friend? mean? With all that he has read, all that he said, killing all this room is, is an enmity between you and God. He will not allow God to like you for the last day that we're talking. About. Whoever therefore want to be a friend of the world, when you want to be a friend of the world, makes himself an enemy of God. You will make yourself, I will make myself an enemy of God. I want to love the world. I will want to do everything that the world people are doing. You will be an enemy of God. Because they want to kill. You know, they want to somebody you said it to me, I've not seen it, sir. You said somebody was preaching in the naked. Husband and wife, they carry the Bible that we are preaching in nakedness. What, what are they talking about? I said the Lord said, God said, Go, I don't think God is there. Oh, go ahead, sir. <laughs> uh, do you think that the scripture says in vain? Yes. The spirit who dwells in us yearning uh -huh. jealously. Jealously. But he gives more grace. He gives more grace. Therefore, Therefore, he says, he says God is God receives the proud. God receives the proud. But give grace. But give grace to the to the humble, humble to the simple. Therefore, Therefore, submit to God. Submit to God. The devil. Don't be a selfish man. Submit to God. Release you yourself to God. Receive the devil. And he will flee from and he will flee from us all over the world. Draw near to God. How do you receive him? All that devil is to do. Just say no, God doesn't want. This God doesn't want this, like just say, God doesn't want this. Don't follow his path because you want to be a big man's right. What does he say, sir? Draw near to God, draw near to God, and he will draw near, to, will draw near to you. Cleanse your, your, your heart, your heart, your heart, cleanse your heart so that your heart will not, you know, fit it your hands. Your sinner, you sinners, you sinners, and purify your heart, and purify your heart. You double minded, you double minded, lament and mourning, lament and money. Let your latter be turned to money. Let your latter not turn to money. Let your God be in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself, Lord. Be Humble yourself before the will Lord. Do the same thing. He will meet you all. He will see him. He will see you. Do not speak evil of one another. Don't speak evil of one another. Brethren. Brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother. When you speak evil of a brother. And judges his brother. When you judge your brother. Speak evil of the Lord. To speak and judges God. the law. Yes. But if you judge the law. When you judge the law. You are not a doer of the law. You are not a judge. That's okay, sir. Don't be selfish. Give everything back to God. Honor that your friend more than yourself. That is what the celebration of this year begins to out to us. Don't let be a fitness. Don't let be you know a wine and bread alone. But let it be in the mind of the word of God. That I'm doing the will of God. Will my celebration be acceptable the way I'm doing it? And it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to be prayed for, the Lord will pray for you. Jesus will pray for Peter, will bless the word. Everywhere there is word, there is trouble. 
the Lord will attend to it. The Lord will, you know, will, will, will help us to bring down, to bring glow all these impartations of wall around us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, as we do tell people, give your life to the word that Jesus came to teach. You can see I give my life to Jesus Christ 500 times and still not find yourself in the <laughs> word of God. When you don't find yourself in him, you have not given your life to him. He said, how can you say you love me when you don't obey my commandment? Please, let's go back to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, here you see Jesus started by the grace of God. He will appear at the same time next week. And for me and for the man of God, we say, God bless you. Yes. What are we talking about today? Do not be selfish. Put the will of God first before you. A selfish man wouldn't be bothered about what will happen to his fellow brethren. Till we come back again, we are blessed. And you are blessed. Merry Christmas to everyone. Christmas. Enjoy your talkies mm. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Professor Stephen Larolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock. You know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. We shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of the